for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Hi, and welcome to our video series on the basics of writing HTML. You can use this class as a foundation to go on and learn more about HTML or to learn other scripting or programming languages like PHP or ASP. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, I'm actually using Dreamweaver right now as my code editor, and uh, you can use a whole variety of programs to write uh, HTML, anything from uh, Notepad or Simple Text all the way up to programs like Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver has a lot of advantages in uh, writing code and managing files. So um, if you're going to be writing a lot of HTML, um, I would recommend you uh, think about investing in this. Adobe actually allows a 30-day free trial of all of its software, so you can download uh, Dreamweaver and uh, try it for free. Well, I've already created a uh, site root folder right here inside of Dreamweaver, and uh, we have another video series on uh, creating, a, creating a site in Dreamweaver if you've never done that before. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and right-click on my root folder and select New File. Now, when you name your HTML files, you can name them anything at all. I can go ahead and type Bob, and that'll hold HTML. But the first document in your um, website should be called index. Now you can name, whoops, you can name your files either .htm or .html. Doesn't matter which one you choose, but uh, I usually say tell people to be consistent. So I went ahead and created that document, and then I'm going to go ahead and double click on it, and you'll see I've got a completely blank document. Now, all HTML documents are going to have um, three basic structural tags inside of them. Now, a tag in HTML is basically a marker that says the following text is something. Tags have opening and closings. If I go ahead and type in HTML inside of square brackets there, that's the opening HTML tag. I'll then hit enter a few times, and I'm going to type again an opening bracket, but this time I'm going to type a slash and then HTML. And that's a closing tag. Whenever you have an HTML document, all of your commands are going to go in between the opening HTML tag and the closing HTML tag. Now, inside of the HTML tag, there's always going to be two different sections, the head section and the body section. And you can remember what you place in each one very simply. The head section contains instructions for the browser. So in other words, things like metadata or links to style sheets or information that the browser needs, the title tag, so it knows what to put up in the title bar. That's all information that's going to go into the head section. The body section holds information that your users actually see. So the text, images, tables, all the content of your web page is going to be in the body section. So I'm going to go ahead and create an opening head tag here. And you can see Dreamweaver brings up those little quick tips for me. I don't even need to continue to uh, type once it brings it up. And then I'm going to type another opening bracket there and a slash. And again, you'll see how Dreamweaver automatically completes that tag for me. And then I'm going to hit enter a couple more times. You can give yourself as much space in your document as you need to um, to organize your code. Um, web browsers completely ignore white space. So then I'm going to go ahead and do the body tag. And you'll see Dreamweaver brought that up for me. And I'm going to hit enter a couple times and then again close the body tag. So that's the basic structure behind every HTML document. You have the HTML tag, and then inside of HTML, you have a head section and you have a body section. The head section contains instructions for the browser, things like meta tags, the title tag for the browser, uh, links to style sheets. 
and inside of your body tag is going to go all the information that you want your users to see the text images tables all the content that's going to be on your website in the next video we're going to see how to place some basic information onto this structure you can see now in Dreamweaver if I go to live view right here and this is a feature that's in um, Dreamweaver CS5 I can see my web page right here and even though I have some tags there's no content right now so I'm going to go ahead and turn live view off and again in our next video we'll add some content also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.